So me and Simon have made it to the Tombstone Mountains, Tombstone National Park here in the Yukon. And today is the first snow. It's settling in right now that we're in for a long winter. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. I think we're gonna do a four by four road today and a mountain on a sunny day. Fingers crossed. Just taking it easy this morning, having my coffee, enjoying the sound of the creek and the snow falling. It's really beautiful. Here's our base camp for the next few days or so. I definitely don't think I would do this by myself, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it looks pretty muddy. There's also that way too, that looks pretty. You like that way better? Can, yeah, you should look at it. I don't know, is it worth it? What's the end of, you know, at the end of this road? We're getting stuck in the Yukon. We had one mission today and that mission was to get stuck. <laughs> I did say that I would like to get stuck more in previous videos, so here we are. Now Simon's gonna get me out <laughs> with this awesome van. Uh, this is like the most stuck I've ever been. Look how muddy I am. Huh? Okay. Give it some more space, like throttle, pull, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the most stuck I've ever been. I'm super muddy. But hey, this is what I signed up for, right? <laughs> Thank goodness Simon is here. I mean, I would never attempt this alone by myself. I'd be screwed right now. I got like a D-ring I can put on. Yeah, let's put a D-ring on there. I think that would be fine. Okay. Um, Do you have a, a wrench on your right? With you? Right the now. wrench? Yeah. I just have to... Let me grab... I got one if you can get. That seems right to me. Yeah. Let me tighten it. This is, yeah, this is where traction boards come from. What, where they come in here? Oh yeah. yeah. This is where traction boards are born. You gotta go out to Yukon and dig them up. <laughs> this is where you find them. I love life. Life's great. Would I get stuck like that again? Sure. That wasn't too bad. I'm just glad we didn't go further down the road because if Simon wasn't able to winch me out, I would have been screwed. So, yeah. Don't go do mud pits alone. <laughs> we have thought. Whoa! <laughs> So, mom, 
that's the peak we're going to. I'm sorry. I am absolutely terrified right now, but I'm going with Simon and he knows mountains really well, so he's a person to go with. Yeah, my palms are sweaty. I'm a little scared, <laughs> but it looks beautiful. We're climbing a mountain on this beautiful bluebird day. <laughs> pushing my comfort zone. So many times hang out with Simon, this is what you do. Gotta set up the shot. <laughs> this is by far the scariest thing ever! But I love it! <laughs> It's actually more fun going down than up, for sure. Let's get to slide down in the snow. All the way up there. We made it back to the cars. 10 out of 10, we do it again. And maybe go higher again. Or go higher next time. For sure. Simon's creating a monster. <laughs> the beginning of an addiction. <laughs> so that was pretty fun. I'm definitely gonna do more mountains. I think it's just a matter of experience. And now I'm gonna make a fire with this <laughs> giant loaded fire starter. And Simon's making uh, chicken wings, or no drumsticks. I'm gonna make some fries. We're gonna eat. We're both pretty hangry right now. <laughs> and yeah, we got a perfect blue bird day to do this. So I'm feeling pretty lucky right now. And yeah, William's good. He was sitting in the Jeep the whole time in the nice heat because uh, he kind of scarred up some of his paw pads running around with Rocco the other day. So we had to leave him behind on this one. Although I don't even think he would be able to do that summit, honestly. He would have been miserable. So we're gonna cook dinner and enjoy a beautiful winter day here in the Yukon. And tonight there might be Northern Lights. I think tonight's the night, guys. I'm super excited. I have to say one perk of camping out with another person is if you don't have something and they have it, then you can use it. I ran out of olive oil, so Simon gave me some butter. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this traveling with another person thing. A lot of butter on that. We deserve butter after today. It's not big enough yet, but get it at least warmed up so the butter melts into it. Yay. A little bird visitor that has been hanging around the past couple days. <laughs> hey, get out of there. No. Trying to potatoes for dinner. Spotting the northern lights or the aurora borealis depends on three things. Cloud coverage, KP index, and the phase of the moon. Therefore, it can be kind of hard to see them with the naked eye, but I was able to finally catch this little bit on camera. It snowed last night really bad. And so now I think it's time to head south. There's not gonna be very many more places to be able to camp, 
uh, we're pretty much snowed in at this point. So it's time to head south. I'm excited. Sunnier pastures, but not for a while. I got quite some driving to do. Bye Dawson City. It's been great. Posted up working. William's in the snow. Thanks bunches everyone for watching and tune in next week as I do my first water crossing and summit two mountains. One by foot, one in the Jeep.